cafeteria in honor of my brother Father Frank. And it's amazing what happens when you get an idea and then you get buy-in. And so that's what happened. People were willing to open their wallets and spend some dollars, not cents, dollars, and in some cases big dollars, to help us make this renovation possible. And uh, also, uh, a big thank you to the Board of Trustee members who approved this project. And uh, that was pretty special to us as well. One of the things that I used to love uh, <laughs> doing, <clears throat> Bob Frank, after he retired, came out and said, Matt, 720 the first year. And he loved it. It was the highlight of the day. The second year, I told him, I said, we need to change the time. And he said, why? I said, nobody remembers 720. Well, what time? 722. Okay. <laughs> so we start saying Mass at 22, and everybody would say, what time is Mass? 722. They remembered it. And in one of my discussions with my brother, I was right. Not very many of them, I can tell you that much. But anyhow, what he would do is we go to Mass. And when Mass was over, here he come. And Rick hinted to this a little bit. He'd be out in the hall, and he'd start mingling with the seniors that are there, give them a bad time, and vice versa. Meanwhile, Rick and I are out there waiting like this, because as part of his agreement to say mass, we had to give a stipend. And it was either Rick or I had to take him to breakfast. And so that was always the routine. So he'd be out there with the kids, we'd be standing here waiting for him. Finally, he'd come walking down. And then he'd go out the door. And as the students would be coming in, he'd say, Good morning. Good morning. You awake? They'd all look, you know. And I thought to myself, first time he did that, I thought, holy moly. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work. But anyhow, the second time he did it, I started thinking how special this is to have a priest greet you when you're coming in to go to school. He had the time to do that, and he was making the best utilization of that time. So then comes the premier thing. We get out into the car. There you drive. Rick got the back seat, brought a break full pot. And I had asked him, where do you want to go for breakfast? I don't know. And I say, well, name some place. Just drive and go. Take me someplace. And we would go, we'd eat breakfast. And that was the routine all the time. And I was trying my darndest to somehow figure out for him to tell us where to go eat breakfast because he didn't care. So I don't remember the name of the restaurant, but I was thinking maybe he wouldn't like this place. So just for the namesake, I'm going to say it's AMP. So we get in the car, and I said, uh, where do you go? Where do you want to go? I don't know. I said, how about AMP? Oh my God, no, that place is bad. I said, well, you do have a preference. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, uh, we did that. And we would go to the breakfast, and, and always, when we would come back and we'd get out of the car, Father Frank would come around, he would always say, thank you. Thanks for breakfast. And of course, we were saying, well, thank you for giving the mass because it was so special. So the other thing that I